Module 2 The Origin of Modern Astronomy The Main Points of Cycles of the Sun and Moon Ancient philosophers accepted as a first principle that heavens were perfect, so philosophers such as Plato argued that because the sphere was the only perfect geometrical, geometrical form and carried a point on its surface around in a circle, the heavens must move in a uniform circular motion. They also accepted that Here's the unmoving center for all motion in the middle of a geocentric universe. These principle, principles become part of the teaching of the great philosophers Aristotle, who argued that sun, moon, and stars were carried around Earth on rotating crystalline spheres. The lack of any parallax in the position of the stars gave astronomers confidence that Earth could not be moving. Tycho developed his own model in which the Sun and Moon circled Earth and the planets circled the Sun. His great contribution was to compile detailed observations over a period of 20 years, observations that were later used by Kepler. Johannes Kepler inherited Tycho's book of observations in 1601 and used them to devise three, law, three laws of planetary motion. The first law says that planets follow ellipses with the sun at one focus. According to the second law, planets move faster than faster when nearer the sun and slower when further away. The third law says that the planet's orbital period squared is proportional to the semi-major axis of its orbit cubed. The incerticity of an ellipse equals zero for a, circle, for a circle and grows closer and closer to one as the ellipse become more and more illuminated. A hypothesis is a statement about nature that needs further testing, but theory is usually a description of nature that has been tested. Some theories are very well understood and widely accepted. A natural law is a fundamental principle in which scientists have great confidence. Kepler's final book the Redufine Tables 1-6-7 combines hydrocertrism with elliptical orbits and predicted positions of the planets well. Galileo used the new invented telescope to observe the heavens and he recognized the significance of what he saw there discovers of the phases of Venus, the Galilean moons of Jupiter, the mountains of the moon and the phenomena helped undermine the Ptolemaic universe. Galileo based his analysis on observational evidence rather than on first principles of scripture. In 1633, he was condemned before the Inquisition for refusing to hold his defense of Copernicanism. Newton used the, for the work of Kepler and Galileo to discover three laws of motion and the law of gravity. These laws 
made it possible to understand such phenomena as orbital motion and the tides. Newton showed the gravity was mutual and universal. It depends on mass of bodies and the distance between them are according to inverse square relation. Newton used the image of cannon on mountain top to explain that an object in orbit is falling towards Earth's center and simultaneously moving fast enough to continually miss hitting Earth's surface to maintain a circular orbit. The object must have circular velocity. All Elliptical orbits, including circles, are closed orbits. But if the object's velocity equal or exceeds escape velocity, it will follow an open orbit and never return. Geochronius satellites orbit far enough from Earth that their orbital period is 24 hours and they remain above a single spot on Earth as Earth turns. Two objects that orbit each other actually orbit their common center of mass. Newton's laws give scientists a, a unified way to think about nature, cause and effect. Every effect has a cause, and science is the search for those causes. Newton's laws also explain that tides are caused by small differences in the gravity, acting on different parts of a body. Ocean tides occur because the moon's gravity pulls more strongly on the near side of Earth than on the center. A tidal plug occurs on the far side of Earth because the moon's gravity is slightly weaker where than on the center of Earth. Tides produced by moon combine with tides produced by sun to cause extreme tides, called spring tides. At new and full moons, the moon and sun work against each other to produce less extreme tides, called new tides, at quarter moons. Friction from tides can slow the rotation of a rotating world, and the gravitational pull of tidal blocks can make orbits change slowly. The 99 years from the death of Copernicus to the birth of Newton marked the beginning of modern science. From that time on, science depended on the evidence to test theories and relied on the analytic methods first demonstrated by Kepler and Newton. Scientific Terms Newton's three laws of motion. A body continues at rest or in uniform motion in a straight line unless acted upon by someone force. The change of motion alpha of a body of mass m is proportional to the force f acting on it and is in the direction of the force f equal m time alpha rule number three when one body exerts a force on a second body the second body exerts an equal and opposite force back on the first body newton and law of gravity F equal negative G multiplied with capital M times small m over R square, where F 
in newtons equal kilogram dot meters per second squares. M capital N smalls in kilograms R in meters. G is the gravitational force which equal 6.67 times 10 to the power negative 11 for m cube per second squares per kilograms. The circular velocity v equal square root of g multiplied m over r, where v in meters per second, m in kilograms r in meters, and g equal 6.67 times 10 to the power negative 11 for m cube slash second squares slash kilograms. Example, how fast does the moon, the moon travel in its orbit? So its velocity will equal root 6.67 times 10 to the power negative 11 times 5.98 times 10 to the power 24 over 3.84 times 10 to the power 8, which equal 1020 meters per second. Finally, thank you.